ADA service dog law, do service dogs have to wear a muzzle? Because it prevents her from doing her job. May I grab my sweatshirt, sir? That way I'm not standing here cold with my Where's sweatshirt. Cold. In my bag. Sure, absolutely. Knock it off. I'm on supervised uh, probation. For what? Uh, last you know, last, for last crime I got was for uh, assault with a deadly weapon or something like that. California? Yeah. Can I show you something, sir? See the one with the purple highlight on it? Yeah. See the service dog. I have an right. ID for that. I know, but I also know that you guys serve in order. No, I'm just burning it. And I was just feeding her. Her water bowl's right there. That's all I was doing. She just finished most of the water in. Do you have your ID with you? Yeah, I gotta get it. I got. It's in my bag, which is under here. Where, where is it in your bag? It's in a wallet inside the bag. Inside which bag? Though? My backpack. And that is a violation. It's uh, supervised probation. Pretty much, I just got a promise to stay out of jail, and that's exactly what you I'm know, doing. You know when they how long it lasts for? Thank you. Uh, for a year. I just got out of jail. Uh, <laughs> This okay. I'm like, I'm so yeah, I'm not trying to go back to jail or cause any problems. I was just trying to find a decent place to lay my head. I understand. So basically, I'm being given a ticket because I was giving my dog water and stuff, which she can't drink with the muzzle on. And, at, and I'd like to have all your officers' names, please. You are live on YouTube. So you're not allowed, as, I, as you see, to feed or water a dog that's a service dog, apparently, here in Santa Monica. So you're not allowed to feed or water my dog? So I'm being given a ticket for feeding and watering her. No, you're being given a ticket for having your dog without a muzzle? She can't eat or drink with the muzzle on. I understand that. She was not eating or drinking. You see, just got done drinking when she went over there. You gotta have this. You guys are live on YouTube. Please state your name. They're giving me a ticket for trying to feed her.
like I said, I have no problem moving my stuff. I have no problem abiding by this whole situation. Uh, I'm trying to cause no trouble at all. I understand. So how am I supposed to feed her? <laughs> Sir? Just so you know, this is live on YouTube. Because the nine people in their family were invited. Yeah. You would think of me coming from Illinois, I would be used to the cold. I guess the cold coming off the ocean is a little bit different than winter cold. As you see, I was just giving my dog water and stuff, and they want to give me, they're giving me a ticket for taking the muzzle off to give her water, and that is animal cruelty. I've already been threatened by the ASPCA about the muzzle and everything, that they were going to file animal cruelty charges on me because the muzzle should only be on for 24 minutes. But as you see, Santa Monica has an issue with a non-vicious animal. I think I've dealt with a few of you before. Yeah, I think so. Didn't you like to, uh, you like to sleep on these? Is that you? Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm the one that used to sleep on the bus stop. Yeah, where's your little cowboy hat? Yeah, I got rid of it a while back. New style? Yeah. Ever since Pride Month, I've been trying to show my more feminine side because I'm in, my, in the process of transitioning male to female. So, I've been on hormones for at least a year now. I already have titties! <laughs> They're not as big as I want them, but <laughs> they'll get there. But there again, not allowed to feed your dog apparently in Santa Monica. Alrighty, sir. Can you go ahead and pass off your dog to someone else? She is not vicious, as you see. It is not a vicious animal. So you're going to receive a citation for failure to comply with the muzzle order? For, for watering my dog and feeding her. She just got done drinking the water and went over there and I was putting... When I came by, she was just hanging out with your friend. So you're going to receive a citation. You're more than welcome contested. Do you have any questions regarding the citation? Yes, I do. What's As question? I showed you under here, ADA law... No, no. ADA law, okay, ADA law, as I was showing him, states that a service dog, being a trained service dog, does not need a muzzle, and that, and so she can, uh, hold on, dog. hear me out, she cannot do her job properly, I have PTSD, she has to be able to use her mouth to pull me, so I don't go into a PTSD blackout, she cannot do her job properly as a service animal. And I just wanted you to make note that you understand that that is a violation of federal law by forcing a service dog to wear a muzzle. 
So I will document everything that you told me. You're more than welcome to contest the citation. As it stands right now, you have a muzzle order with the city of Santa Monica. And Can you let me finish okay. or let you talk? Okay. With the animal control, with the animal control, right? So you, that means you need to have your dog on a muzzle. Th and it's causing injury right. to her too. So that's the thing. If that's what you can contest. And I, I'm. That's what I'm trying to do. Right. I have called since June, and right. this. So right here on the citation, it's not a minute deal. It's just acknowledging that you received the citation. You have you sign that red box there. I'm actually just gonna initial it. That's your signature. All right. So here's a copy. The fine due date is gonna be one fourteen twenty three. You can pay or contest it by that date. No questions? Nope. Alrighty. So actually there is. So what happens if a person who in my situation can't come up with a fine? Then you would contact the uh, office. There are uh, payment options available for that as well. But like I said, I have been call I have been calling your super the supervisor of the animal control since June. He will not return calls or anything else like that. He ignores my calls. How are you supposed to get anything done if he won't? Then when you go down there, all of a sudden he's on vacation. I don't know. What to tell you. you can try sending a letter, leaving a note. I have done that. He hasn't even responded to any of that. Okay. Well, that's what the options are. So you guys can't stay here. You can't be inside any of the structures unless you're parking, parking, parking. Let me ask you this. Um, if it's raining and you don't have a tarp, is that acceptable? What is your question? Is it, are you allowed to be in like, possession of a tarp? Yeah. It's no. No, no, no. Now, safety no, no. ambassadors have if, told us we could use the wheelchair. I'm talking to him right now, okay? If you have a question, I'm happy to answer you. Say, for example, if you don't have a tarp, okay, okay. and it's raining, like straight up raining, Okay. Would I allow it to be in here then? No. Just because it's free doesn't it give you an exception to be inside the structure. You can't be in the structure for any reason. I think that's kind of bogus, but okay. Alright. No more questions? Alright, if you can go ahead and clean up your stuff. Absolutely. Here. Okay. Turn pass off the dog. Move, Rose. Move, Rose. Leo, Come on, Rose. Let's go. Let's go. I need to get her down on that side, sir. Come here, Rose. Let's go, girl. I know. You just want to say hi. She wants to say hi to you guys, actually, because I've taught her about badges, that you guys are the good guys, actually, because I don't want issues with her. And you're more than welcome to pet her if you like. She'll let you. And that's also so you know, if you, if, in your opinion, if I may ask you, in your opinion, when you came up, do you see a vicious animal? Do you have an order to comply with the muzzle I, order? I'm just so asking in a personal muzzle, opinion. And there's no reason for it not to be muzzled. If, you have, if you'd like to contest, you're more than welcome to do so. But as you see, she hasn't been vicious this entire time. But she's not. Yeah, get the ones like, instead of hassle on the person with a non-vicious dog, you should be getting the ones like Josh, who ro runs in the middle and jumps in front of buses.
So if you can do me a favor, we can either relocate to another location. Parks are, for the most part, open until 11 a.m. That way you're not Actually, I have well. permission to be in this parking lot right next to here. If you but, want to be in yeah, the that's, parking structure, they give you information. No, no. Yeah, this place next door. Okay. I've got permission to be in their lot and everything from the owner of it. That's so, between you and the owner. Yeah. So I was just letting you know. That's all that's all the further I'm going. So right now I'm on the public sidewalk, so I just gotta grab everything.